everybody and welcome to Doc Curmudgeon Saves Comics. I'm Doc Curmudgeon aka Clint McElroy as we work our way through all of the DC Rebirth number ones. Today's episode is sort of like, um, well you won't get this reference you kids, but it's like a bookstore. This is a place where we used to go to get things to read and we've divided it up. So we have three titles this week. We're going to start in the young adult section with Blue Beetle number one. Okay, like I said, the young adult section. Well, let's face it, this uh, new Blue Beetle has been, since its latest incarnation, has been something to attract the younger reader. Uh, and they've approached it with with some brilliant ideas about who to have do this book. Keith Giffen, who has been doing this since, well, since I was a young man, and is one of my favorite comic book writers, always writes with uh, a lot of comedy, but at the same time has a good eye for action too. Scott Collins uh, did the art. And this is a really good looking book. It's a lot of fun. Uh, Basically, you've got a guy with a big blue roach stuck on his back and he doesn't want it. He's kind of the reluctant hero and they play into that. He's also a high school student, so you know, we've seen that. Uh, by the way, that big blue roach, it's, it's got to keep you from trying out for the swim team and, and all kinds of other stuff. I like it the fact though that they brought back Ted Cord, the second blue beetle. What I really would have liked is if they had brought back the third. Blue Beetle. That's right, there was one before Ted Cord even. Dan Garrett. Bring him back. Because you got a nice little buddy thing, a mentor to student. But how about a grandfather image? How about a third generation? I like grandfather images. I like third generations. And I like Blue Beetle. Next up, we move into a different section of the bookstore. We move into men's action with Deathstroke. Save! That's right, I was really hard on Deathstroke with its uh, rebirth number one, but now with its number one rebirth, I dig it a lot. This would be in the men's action section. It used to be a, a, a bookstore here and you would go back and it was all the things like uh, The Executioner and you know, books like Strike Force, Delta, and all this other kind of stuff. And The Destroyer. I happen to be a huge fan of The Destroyer. Remo Williams and Chun, and this book feels like that. Hey, let's face it, Deathstroke is a fascinating character. And basically, it's a bad guy who ends up doing good. But much like in The Destroyer, where you have Remo and Chun, they've provided him with Wintergreen, his sidekick, booking agent, I don't know exactly what you would call him. And they play off of each other. This book never gets too serious. When it gets too close to real emotion, it veers away. But it's men's action. There's sex. There's violence. And it is a blast. You would see this at a drive-in if it were a movie with Faster Pussycat Kill Kill or uh, uh, Dirty Mary Crazy Larry. Uh, big thumbs up. This is a bold move for DC because this is a different timber than a lot of the other books. It really is a blast. And uh, yeah, you pulled out on the nosedive with that one. I appreciate that. Next up, let's go to our third, Hellblazer number one. Okay, you know, maybe this whole rebirth plan uh, had a few fail flaws. For instance, the two number ones. Um, the number ones they came out with to start with were more like number zeros. Uh, it was more kind of like a setup book, but without really setting it up because you still needed the number one in the series. I think that's what happened with Hellblazer. Um, Hellblazer is much, much better. Simon Oliver and Moritat uh, have put together a great book. I love Moritat's work. Uh, and this book looks great. And in this one, they start setting the scene and they don't just fall back on the fact that he's British and he throws a lot of jokes in. Um, that, that doesn't carry so far, but this is true to the character. Not just a bunch of one-liners, and it looks awesome. They've set up this whole new mythos with a new threat, and basically John Constantine is not an action hero in this. And he's not an action hero. 
I like this. They have saved this one. That's two saves out of three. I like Hellblazer. I give it a big thumbs up. So there we have it. We've got a yay on Blue Beetle in our young adult fiction. We've got Deathstroke in our men's action. And well, let's go with the horror section because there's some pretty horrible stuff in there. For one thing, Swamp Thing getting hooked up on a blind date. That's pretty horrible. But check them all out. Three thumbs up this week on Doc Curmudgeon Saves Comics. I'll see you next week. I'm Clint McElroy, a.k.a. Doc Curmudgeon. Oh, too far. Wait, no. Wait, oh, no, that's too much. Come on, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, God, I'm sick. Watch us go, the Justice League. Yeah, the Justice League. Oh, the Justice League. That's the Justice League.